Guys, here's what we're doing. I know it's gonna be a bunch of traffic. This is a busy street right here. We're gonna put up a storm door and I'm gonna use the 12 volt Milwaukee and I'm gonna use the 12 volt DeWalt. Now, I haven't Googled and I, and I may do that before I make upload this video. I don't have any RPMs. This one turns. The 12 volt DeWalt, now it, it is an older drill. I've had that drill for a long time, a few years. I'm not sure how long. The Milwaukee is new. Of course, it has speeds on it. The DeWalt does not. In listening to them, the speed of this one sounds to be around this one in number one. When you flip it up into number two, it's got quite a few RPMs. So we're going to put up a storm door with them, and then we're going to go in and put up some blinds. Just kind of get a feel for them. Um, the DeWalt has the hook right here for your pants the milwaukee right here the dewalt i have the flat battery on it that's the one that come with it the milwaukee i have this one that's the one that come with it i haven't ordered the flat battery 12 volt battery for it so anyway now one thing i do like is the dewalt when you pull the trigger or that i don't like about the dewalt is when you pull the trigger and let off the lights go out the milwaukee the light stays on i like that because there's a lot of times you need to see what you know something without pulling the trigger this one you can slowly pull the trigger back and activate the light but this one you know after you get done drilling it goes off unless you keep it activated I'm, I'm sure they did that to save battery but i like this one here that it stays on for a few minutes This one's just lacking the speeds. I like the way it feels in your hand. I like that. I like the size of it right here. This one's a little bit thicker, a little bit bulkier. Now just right off the bat, this one right here, I like the way that feels in my hand. That's just feeling. Feel the difference and I feel that one. Yes, that's what made it's a little fits your hand better yeah that feels about like four said better for the curve of your hand um, now I, I like the fuel lights here tells you where you're at I don't think uh, I didn't remember it having them it, it doesn't have anything telling you where your where your fuels at in your batteries for this one they're about the same this drill is just they're really identical in length like that and they're of course this one's got you know this battery on it not the flat one and they're really just uh about the same lengthwise not much difference the milwaukee is just a little fatter across the top here than the dewalt the only thing that you're really going to notice with it is the grip in the hand this one's got a good feel for me and uh, that one's not bad, but it's just a little thick. If you're a pistol shooter, you know, you find in that right pistol grip. And that one is just, just a little thick. Now the DeWalt. What do you feel? Not much of a difference. Not, not any difference putting screws in. Nope. The only thing you feel any difference in is the grips. Yep. And, and this one just got has a little better feel in your palm of your hand. It, it to me. That's just our opinion. Okay guys. As far as performance, you are not going to tell any difference in the drills if you go into the store. Pick this one up, feel it in your hand. Pick this one up, feel it in your hand. Notice where the clip is, clip is, and you do have lights to tell you how much battery you've got, and you don't have any on the 12 volt DeWalt. Now maybe they changed it with the new one, don't know. Forrest and I have used both of these and just kind of different applications and as you notice they both both perform very well notice the angle that this one kind of angles up 
This one is straight. I'm sure there's something that Milwaukee's got in mind because see, they, they made theirs angling up. And the wall is straight. So some of you that are really sharp in tools, you might know why, I don't. That may have some difference in performance. I don't know. But I just happened to notice that. And uh, you know, it's, it's quite a bit slanted up. Before we end this video, Forrest said, why don't we do a big boy test? He said, why don't we do a couple screws that we would normally go get the 20 volt. This is the one with the speeds on it. This is the one we would normally go get to put these types of screws in, a four by four. And then I've got a couple of lag bolts like this. Well, let's put a couple of these in. And I'll tell you what let's do. Let's time it. Then you hit that thing right there and let's just time. Let's see if this will work. Time putting this in, all right? Now I'm just gonna get it going. All right, hit it. Got it? stripped it out. 25.66 and then it it stripped the bolt. Couldn't turn it anymore. You see how much it lacks going in right there. Now, I don't know if I got that bit or not. Let me just switch and get another bit just in case that it got it. Now let's take this one. And both of these batteries have just come off charge. All right, let me kind of start it right here for us. All right, you got it? Go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Stop. In 15 seconds, this one sunk it. The DeWalt stopped right there. Now that's a pretty good test right there. Now, guys, I think that right there is a pretty big difference in the drills. The DeWalt stripped the head out and left it to right there. And the Milwaukee countersunk it. It wasn't even done, I just let off. It wasn't gonna quit. So, I believe the Milwaukee's got more power. Both of these drills, fresh batteries, just come off of the charger. The same as was these right here. They just came off of the charger. So I just wanted both batteries to be good and hot. So now we're going to put in a lag bolt. All right. Start it for us. Yep. in 20 seconds. So I don't know what the deal was on this, why did it strip that head out of the screw. So. Okay, ready? Go. Beat it by 10 seconds. Milwaukee beat the DeWalt by 10 seconds on this. Milwaukee beat DeWalt by 10 seconds on this. Now I do not know why that this head stripped out. They were both brand new screws. Everything was the same. And, but you see where it sunk it, stripped the head. Milwaukee counter sunk it. Even sunk this one a little lower. So as far as power, 
that right there's got more power and it's faster i hope you have enjoyed forrest and i's little survey on the the, the dewalt 12 volt milwaukee 12 volt i'm not a tool professional but i kind of like to say i'm out here using mine every day and i just like to kind of show you what it's using the tools out here working i see you on the next video guys man i thank you for all your subscriptions and for all your likes and your comments and uh i'm about to hit 500 can't believe it man thank all of you uh see you on the next video might get some mowing this week